was furnished by Get the Picks Productions. Filmmaking doesn't just happen in Hollywood, it happens right here in CLE, right here in Cleveland. Jesse DeFranco and Jonathan Klein from Get the Picks join us right now to talk about local filmmaking and their latest production. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about the production company, your production company, Get the Picks. Yeah, so it's one that uh, runs out of Northeast Ohio, and uh, we love making feature films and short videos as well, but um, we like telling the stories right here in Ohio, and it's really nice to be able to get that opportunity to continue to grow and continue to release our films here in Ohio. How long have you been in production? Well, it's been over, well, for this film, now we're what, just close to a little over a year? That's not really, right, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we've been making videos for years and years for our little kids yeah yeah <laughs> kind of got started actually we're we're related we're cousins unfortunately just as related to me um but uh yeah making films for our family and it grew from there and that's how we kind of realized that we could work together and uh create uh, videos together mm -hmm. right and and have a, a thriving business all right let's talk about the latest film jarlid yeah, definitely. So Jarlid is a movie. It's a little bit of a thriller slash comedy. Um, it's about a woman who owns uh, an insurance business and she's kind of estranged from her brother and she finds out that her brother's actually been using the business to scam people. So they end up in a situation where she has, they both have one night to make back all the money that he's lost. And they kind of send out this odyssey through Cleveland uh, with all these different kinds of characters to make this money back. So it's kind of a, a fun, fast paced uh, type movie. And there's a lot of scenes that we're going to notice around the Cleveland area, but the grog shop, is that right? Yeah, yeah. We tried to incorporate as much as Cleveland as we could. Uh, we had some great, great help with that. Uh, grog shop, Kathy Black and grog shop helped us uh, film there. Um, we filmed outside the Playhouse, outside the Renaissance Hotel, yeah. as many locations as we could possibly get because we wanted to showcase uh, Cleveland as much as we could with this one. Yeah. It's a story really that'll, that'll be able to communicate to to the Cleveland audience. And so it's we really wanted to make sure we kind of set it in that world and make sure that it's that sites that even if you've just driven through Cleveland from growing up there, you would know and recognize. It's such a great energy to Cleveland. They wanted to kind of incorporate into the movie too. So that really becomes a character in itself. That's awesome. And, and I love that. It sounds very familiar to a couple of brothers uh, named Russo that, uh, <laughs> that have, uh, have done this as yeah, well. We'll take that yeah. any day. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly right. Yeah. But now do you- well, What did they make? That sounds familiar. Yeah, they sound, <laughs> I've heard of that one. I think they're doing, they're doing pretty good. They, they did a couple of Marvel <laughs> movies, I think, and you know, some um, other smaller, smaller, things. smaller stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. just, just, yeah, independent things. But let me ask you: is, Do you aspire to 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 branch out outside of Cleveland from Get the Picks to maybe going national? Yeah, for sure. Well, we want to make sure that we're growing to the point at which that we can continue to share our story with as many people as possible, because that's really what we ultimately strive to be: is just better storytellers than we were yesterday, and. Part of that is being able to communicate with larger audiences for sure, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I think uh, the way that a lot of people would assume that if you grow as a filmmaker, you're going to naturally go over to Hollywood. A lot of times you're seeing with other states starting to grow up and we kind of want to build that that infrastructure as well as that uh, those studios here in Ohio and being able to actually have productions that are fully made here. And yeah, can we collaborate with other states and can we collaborate with other filmmakers? Absolutely. We love doing that. But um, we also want to have, be able to tell stories that are that are made in Ohio. And you want people to be able to to join in. I mean, that's an invitation for others to follow your, your lead as well. Join you to create more local stories. Yes. We'll take anybody. Anybody who wants to come help us <laughs> continue to grow and continue to tell stories here. Yeah. Um, we all, yeah I'll help and, you. and tell their own stories, too. Yes. Uh, we feel that, uh, like we said, with being able to show those locations, we feel that when you really can connect with a, a filmmaker and be able to go up and interact with them, almost like you would with a, a band that you know and love, you know, uh, we want to be able to make sure that that's continuing to grow and that other states and other people within our own state feel that they can make a film, tell a really big story, tell it to maybe everyone in the state, and that person can then feel that, not that that's somebody far away in, in uh, you know, the other side of the country where they're probably never going to interact with them, but they might just bump into that person and talk to them, be able to actually ask those deeper questions that sometimes you have awesome. when you really connect with the story. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And thank you so much, gentlemen, for what you do. For more information, get the picks.org and picks is P-I-X, as you can see. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you at the movies. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>